This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the US. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night A man who needs no introduction, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell, steps inside the octagon. He is ready to fight. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably, and just so wise. Our tale of the date for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, Undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. sure if it's butt mashing or what, but we got a fight on our hands, oh, folks. John, it's butt mashing. Huh. It is absolutely butt mashing because this type of fight happens in the video game. Oh, my goodness. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 
How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> and he's caught above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Well, that's one way to take advantage of an edge in reach. Beautiful connection with that punch. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Leg kick checked effectively there. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Nice punch there by Chuck Liddell. Keep your hands up. Use your foot. There's that side kick. Stick that out there. Three minutes have elapsed here in round one. Oh, roundhouse kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. Just misses with the left hand. So he's landed a few center uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another. <laughs> both tough, both durable, both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Just misses with the jab there. Kick to the body by the Hall of Famer, the Iceman Chuck Liddell. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shots. That he ran. Great job. Furious back and forth action here late in round one. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Lee getting work here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Five. That horn sounds five, means five, we have five. reached the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner now, and Lee's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood, but when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, but you got to do things Ready. better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay out the center line, and he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right, put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. Strong straight left there.
tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. That punch was deflected. Nicely done. Marzo continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Kobe Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. He's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, PC. On point with that jab today. Oh, the outside of that lead leg, the left thigh, really showing signs of bruising now. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he landed a big knockout in the previous round, and you can just tell his confidence has grown from here. His confidence is through the roof, as it should be. He's doing a great job right now of landing strikes. He just now has to find the one that's going to end the night. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Ooh. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know why change it? And it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, that crimson ray is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. That one snuck in. Nice. Oh, oh, one. His misses are out of the Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jet. Ten oh, minutes oh. in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward.
Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Effective jab there by the Iceman. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, and it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Well, this is absolutely right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the hook. Nice slip to avoid the left. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Just over three minutes to go. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Slip that one. Got that single collar tie locked in. Immediately gets the underhook. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Nice shot there by the champ. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Lee's eyes closing up. Oh! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Liddell's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. There it is again. Look at that. His miss is Oh, in a ton of trouble right now. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, good block there. Lands to the body. Under a minute to go in the round. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, missed on that one. All right, gets inside, gets the single collar tie here. 
Lee's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Just misses with the straight right. 15 seconds remain in the round. We are headed to the championship rounds. Wow, what a round it was. There's the horn. Two knockdowns. Certainly a 10-8 is plausible. We'll see if his opponent can make some adjustments here. It's going to be tough. J.A., I thought it was over. Yeah. I thought it was over. I was yelling, it's over, it's over. After the first knockdown, dude gets up and gets knocked down again. He understands now he has a very tough competitor in front of him, but he needs to stay patient, go find another big shot. But one perfect shot shuts the lights off. It's only going to take one of those to finish the fight. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk Ready. about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Slips. Block that punch. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Liddell's taking aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Iceman Chuck. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yes. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man. PlayStation.